Hello, welcome to LNC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel on Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus, okay? Okay, I'm so happy that you guys are here. Um, I'm back, even though, you know, I missed the day yesterday, but I had to handle some family matters. So any days that I do miss, it's definitely significant and there's a reason why, right? But I will never be gone for too long. Um, so I'm happy that you guys are here. I'm so happy that I have new subscribers and our community is just building every single day. Um, people are running across my channel and I am just so blessed to have um, genuine souls that understand me and I understand you and we can connect and rise together. So yeah, that means more to me than anything because in my past, like I just didn't have that much of support and I thought my family would support me, you know? Uh, I do have some people in my family that do support me, but not everybody um, supports me, but that's okay because I understand like, you know how they have that term of uh, blood thicker than water and sometimes it isn't. And um, that's what I'm beginning to understand and I'm okay with um, accepting people who are not blood, right? Like my future, I know I want to adopt children. I don't want to have any children of my own because I understand that God has a different path for me. And there's already children that are born that need to be mothered, right? And I am so open for that. And that's just something that I want in my life. But sorry, I'm telling you guys that. That's just what I really want to say. But I will get into the message that we have today. And before we get into that message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the energy and space and to welcome healing frequencies. Um, but yeah, here we go. Turn down the volume if you have headphones, because I'm not sure how, it's, how it sounds. But here we go. Ooh, okay. So I really like these messages that I'm gonna that I'm doing today. So I'm just letting you guys know it's going to be the first one that I dropped today, but you guys should definitely check out my other messages because, whoa, they're really, really good. Um, but yeah, the message that we have today is surround yourself with believers, okay? Um, the non-believers are going to start to get attacked, okay? More than what they felt, okay? So... When I say surround yourself with believers, people who believe in the same truth as you. So let's put this first card out. People who believe in the same truth as you. I'm, I think I'm going to make it a little closer. Yeah. There we go. So it's not so far. But yeah. So you're walking in the light. You're walking in your truth. Um, and now is the time to surround yourself with people who have the same mind like you. Okay. Because if you're around people who are still trying to find, um, they're still not believing in what you're doing or your calling in life, they're going to be used as an enemy. Like, and this has to do with family, friends, lovers, brothers, sisters, mothers, like all across the board. God is watching and seeing Paying attention to the people who have faith in him and his purpose and blessing and protection over our lives, right? So if you if you find yourself around somebody or even co-workers, it's like I'm hearing enough with the small talk with the world. That God's doing enough with the small talk, enough with the just 3D basic, oh, it was a warm day today. Oh, you hear what, like, you know what I mean by when they talk about 3D conversations and it has nothing to do with our spiritual bodies or spirituality at all. And people are just talking just to talk instead of talking with truth. Um, some people are just refusing. This is what God is saying. Some people are just refusing to connect with spirit or get tapped into knowing themselves, which is knowing God. Um, 
and they're actually becoming jealous of the people who they see rising or in a happier energy or mood throughout the day because they're wondering why aren't they feeling the same way and what are you doing that's making you any different or any better than them right make sure that you're not around those type of people all the time because if you are you will get into confrontations arguments the people who are following the truth and know the truth that they're in their purpose those are the people you need to surround yourself with because if it comes with disagreements, you hear me say disagreements instead of arguments. Disagreements is a word. Arguments is a word, right? But they're two different things because they're two different words, right? So it's okay to have a disagreement because it helps you pick at each other's brain to understand both sides of the story and you guys can both grow together. It's not an argument about spirituality or about what I believe in and what you believe in you telling me I'm going to be sent to the pits of hell and all those type of things. So when you surround yourself by those people, that's just the devil trying to taint your faith, trying to taint your spirit, your pure spirit. Um, that's what their mission is going to be. So as we, um, oh, before I say that, it's like we are all in a spiritual dome of protection, us as believers we have this spiritual dome of protection. God's showing me us in a, like, I don't know if y'all seen that SpongeBob uh, clip or episode when they went to San, Sandy's uh, house and she has a dome because, you know, she's a squirrel in the, um, in the water, right? So it's just like she has to wear a spacesuit to come out into the water or whatever. And it's like, the space suit, God's giving me two interpretations. Well, now that I'm digging deep into this. So the dome, imagine you in a, a clear dome. And even some of your family members are on the other side of the dome because they don't believe. But once they start to believe, they can come on the other side. But they're never going to be able to communicate or, or even hug each other or even feel each other if they're on the other side, right? And that has a big thing dealing with the... 3d and the 5d going through a massive split so that's what i'm trying to show you guys like we are obviously going to be on the same earth right but we're going to be experiencing different realms different mindsets different thoughts different emotions and feelings as a collective of groups of this world we go through the same emotions thoughts like how i'm talking about spirituality right now there could be ten thousand people in different states and countries and cities um that are talking about the same thing that i'm talking about right now it's not just me now then there's people who's arguing and there's groups it's all a cycle we're in this cycle of knowledge right now as i'm talking to you there's a person people who are in cycles of chaos cycles of sadness and that's what i'm telling you once we rise to this frequency we will no longer feel sorrow um we will no longer be depressed feeling anxious or even being broke okay because we're shifting our reality with as God is shifting with us. So we have to, now I'm here when I move, you move. We're moving when God moves. And I'm talking about frequency and energy, even homes, even we're, we're listening to our calling and we're following the light, which is God. We're following God, right? But these people are turning their backs on God. They don't believe in God. They don't have faith that God can actually work in their life. They haven't experienced God working in their life. God had to put me through hell for me to see him. I'm, like I had to go through the worst feeling like I was going to die. And that's when God came. And it, it's sad that people have to learn that way. You don't always have to learn that way. Um, But I'm just saying from my experience, I went through traumatic, three traumatic things in one year for me to finally be like, and it was the last thing, not the first traumatic situation, not the second, but the last one was just like, all right, God, I tap out. Where are you at, God? I need you right now because this, this shit ain't right. Like, the way I'm living, the way I'm feeling, I'm feeling suicidal, all this. Like, God, I need you. And that's when I called on to God. But other than that, that's what's going to happen to people. They're going to go through traumatic situations so deeply to, to their breaking point. And it's not going to be God forcing it to happen. It's the devil fucking up your life. God's going to give the devil access to fuck up their life so they can call on to God. It's not God doing it. So when they say, 
oh, God did this. If, if God's real, he shouldn't have did this. He didn't do it. You, you know the devil works for God, right? Everybody has a mission. Everybody has a purpose. And that's why the devil, God gave the devil so much access to do everything. Okay, devil, since you want to be negative and bad, I'm going to know how to use you. I'm going to use you just like he using us. He's going to use the devil to strengthen us, to bring us, to connect with us. So if we see the dark and we see the devil, we can definitely see angels and we can definitely see light and feel God, right? So if you can feel the worst, you better be able to feel the best. And that's how God is going to do the test. That's how it's going to go. But, um... That's why I said, I'm not even friends with people who are not on the same level as me. Like, and I know we all know that, but I'm talking about spiritually, them realizing that they need to be, if you're, if you're not connected with your spirit guides, if you're not tapping into your spirit guides on a daily day, day to day basis, do not talk to me because we're not on the same level until you start reaching out to your spirit guides. Then we can be on the same level because my spirit guides are vital to my life. I need them. I need my angels. I need my God. And if I'm not listening to them, my life is going to be chaos. So that's why when people used to call you and say this happened and this happened, car broke down, all these type of situations or negative situations, you got to understand, are they even tapped in? You'll see who's tapped in and who's not with these years to come. I say the next five years, you'll, you'll be able to read, oh, they're not connected to God. Oh, they're disconnected from spirit. You're going to be able to point it out because you know the truth and you know where you need to be and what you need to do. So you're going to be going through um, rejoice and celebration. You're going to be celebrating the connection and bonds that you have with, with your angels, spirit guides, and God, and also the people who connect to their angels and spirit guides and God, right? We are all going to be rejoicing. We are all going to align to each other, meet each other at different places, events, and stuff. And that's where we want to be, right? Because we're moving on, moving out of the darkness into the light. We're going towards the light. This person isn't backwards. They're making a decision. They're healing themselves. They're allowing the sun to shine upon them. And it's like, these people, I'm going to give you their cards. Obstacles and challenges. They're going to be going through misfortune and obstacles. They're going to be going through so many hurdles. They're going to feel like it's the end of the world. <laughs> this temptation the devil going he going to unleash his demons. He going to unleash the beast, okay? Upon these people who are non-believers. They're going to be going through emotional loss, loss of loved ones, loss of home, breaking up, just feeling really they're going to be feeling cursed. That's what's going to happen. Disruption. These are the cards that came out. Disruption. Everything's going to it's they're going to constantly go through an earthquake within their life. A mental conflict they're going to be trapped within themselves in their head so much in their head and this is what causes people to kill themselves being in them head in their head too much to the point where they can't feel outside they can't feel spirit they're just so stuck within themselves that they want to escape and that's not where you want to be and that's not where you want your family to be your friends to be your lover to be your husband to be your brother to be because you can at least warn them and be that warning for them like hey you do you believe in god because it's going to get deep this these next months and the months after it's going to be good for people who are walking into the light people who are not walking into the light congratulations this is what you're going to get mental conflict disruption temptation attacks psychic attacks insomnia all that shit you'll just never be at rest emotional loss people will just never be at rest so Yes, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Definitely make sure and check um, your circle. Make sure that they're in, on the same mindset as you. Talking to their spirit guides or at least being accepting to learning from you and how you're connecting with spirit because they we need help, okay? I need help and that's why I stay with my spirit guides, not allow them to move in my life, work in my life. I allow the Holy Spirit to use me, possess me, work through me because I don't want to make no more bad decisions. I want to make the best decisions for my life. And that's the way I'm, I'm choosing to live. Like, you don't have to go through that young and, young and dumb phase. The reason why people went through the young and dumb phase because they didn't know their spirit guides. I, when I was 12, I didn't know my spirit guides. I didn't know anything like this. I wish I did, but I didn't. So I went through bullshit. So it's like, even your kids, if you have children, let them know that they have spirit guides, a passed on loved one, a passed on grandmother, somebody that wants to help 
you and assist you in your life. They have the bird's eye view over your life. So why not connect with them, right? You connect with your friends, your man, everybody, but <clears throat> what about your spirit guides? What about God? What about Jesus? Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael. Like, they're like, we're here, but we can't just control you. You have to come and give us consent. But yeah, that's what I'm here for you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.